Theta Group was founded in 1982 by Peter Whitaker, an electronics engineer, to provide design and manufacturing services to industry. The group's first product was a digital thermometer. Then it went on to successfully provide PCB design and assembly, testbed instrumentation, weighing systems, and to manufacture machine tool control cabinets. However, the recession of the late 80s led to the loss of the group's machine tool customers and a significant reduction in its weighing business. The machine tool industry over a period of a few years pretty much collapsed. Both companies that we worked for moved their manufacturing out of the United Kingdom. The control cabinet business that we were involved in with our own industrial weighing equipment also tailed right off. Nobody was investing in capital equipment at that time. And so that business pretty much disappeared overnight. Left a big hole. Uh, we had at that time then to look around for other things to do. Having invested in a strong engineering design team and in-house technology, the Dieter Group responded to the recession by looking around for new opportunities and adopted an approach of flexibility. We had skills, we had engineering designers, we had a manufacturing facility, um, and we had energy and we were resourceful and we looked around for things to do. We got involved in designing and manufacturing burglar alarms. Uh, we got involved in an energy saving boiler control product that in fact we still sell now. We looked around for anything that we could do and we did it. And it enabled us to survive the recession. Our turnover dropped down. We didn't have to lay off any key staff at all. Um, we managed to keep the banks on our side and we worked our way through the recession. Dieter managed to thrive by creating a niche for itself, developing new products including liquid level sensors, serving the medium volume businesses that its competitors often find tricky. Its larger competitors usually do not have the flexibility, are too slow to react or not interested in the volume, whereas the smaller competitors do not have the resources or expertise. The advantage we have over most of our competition is that we can uh, produce uh, a design quickly, uh, get the customer a prototype very quickly, and uh, get their product into production quickly. We were a lot more flexible than most of our competition and we're willing to deal with small to medium sized companies, which a lot of them aren't. Uh, we have an informal entrepreneurial spirit. The engineering people work well with sales, sales works well with production, um, and uh, that type of attitude is, is, is probably at the core of what we do. This culture is reflected throughout the group's workforce. Whilst many of the staff have been with Dieter for over 20 years, the company is still employing, and new blood infuses the business with fresh ideas and techniques, keeping it flexible and open to new opportunities. Within the company we have a wealth of experience, and also we have new people coming in, uh, we're still employing at the moment. We also have a team of outworkers who do a number of jobs for us outside. When we have a peak, um, they have obviously more work when we're quiet, as in a recession, they have less work. Therefore, it gives us the flexibility and also it means our overheads within the company stay lower. Dieter began to sell liquid level sensors manufactured by others in the early 90s, but soon realised that in order to give its customers the products, flexibility and quality that they required, it could not rely on its level sensor suppliers. So it started taking control of the design and manufacture of products and its prototypes, most notably liquid level sensors, which is a key part of its business today. I've worked as an engineer for a lot of years and if you want to sell something to an engineer, give him something in his hand for him to play with. Because engineers like things in their hands that they can look at, that they can feel, they can try it. And if somebody is developing a new product, and you can hand them a prototype very, very quickly, then it gives you a considerable advantage. And, and I think that's one of our major strengths. Dieter's model has proven to be a success. Having found its niche in liquid level sensing, control and instrumentation, its customer base is now global, and its array of products are used by clients as diverse as British nuclear submarines and air conditioning equipment. As the company focuses its growth on overseas customers, it looks set for further success 
with its new range of wireless level sensor and control products. It will also no doubt continue to adapt to fluctuations in the market and find itself new opportunities as they arise. We are developing our overseas business, putting a lot of effort into that because that's where we see the future. We've set up a company in the USA and we developed a business there from scratch. We know that with the products that we've got and products in the pipeline, we can develop our company massively. We know our products are good, they're competitive, they're what people want. So we're very, very optimistic. We think there's a very good future. Um, a lot of people put down UK manufacturing and say there's no future for it. Um, I don't believe that at all. Um, you just have to be in the right niche.